So questions are, did you understand that you should think in a non-traditional way in the era of life that worried you the most, the most at the end of the last year and beginning of this year? Then, do you understand that your every thought affects the whole universe and every human being on this planet? Every thought, everything you do, you say. If you still don't understand that, it's time to understand. It. Then the question is, who do you trust? This is very important now. Then, what do you know about modern science and technology? Even if you've never been interested in this, it is really time to learn that now. Then, what should you do now to make your life functioning, function meaningfully in the coming years? Try to anticipate that. Then are you ready to fight for your children? And what sacrifices are you ready to do to make good life for your children in the future? Jupiter is general significator of children and it's in big position in Aquarius. And this what's what's you know what I mean? Poof. We will call that in this video what. They are now okay, but even they start giving them to children, there is big trouble coming. And it is already happening in some countries, in Israel, for example. Check what is happening there. So also, have you found people who have the same ideas as you, with whom you will continue to fight for your freedom? Because in today's time, one person cannot do anything. You know, we have to gather together. So, we see Jupiter, Jupiter in Aquarius. It is neutral there. It's neither strong nor weak. This is, not, this is neutral position in classical astrology. But based on astrology, we know that the principles of Jupiter are directly opposite to the principles of Aquarius. Jupiter is the power of God, the teacher, the guru, and the highest knowledge. There is some, elit some, some, some elitist in Jupiter, while Aquarius is a sign of mass, ordinary people, equality of all, and brotherhood. Now we see one interesting thing now in the world happening that the governments in the most of the countries of the world are some so-called elite. And now, more than ever before, it is clear that they are separated from people. Like ordinary people are nothing. And there is more elite that is everything. Governments that rule certain states, actually globalistic states, are ruling people, yeah, and there is somebody above them, and this invisible somebody who is above them gave them rights to insult the people, to insult the common sense of the people, and to destroy them in a humiliating way. How they, these rights are given to them? By blackmailing them, corruption, and promises. So government got some promises, that's why they feel strong by doing this to ordinary people. This is, of course, ridiculous. However, there will going to be a change because Jupiter here, regardless of its divine nature, opens the story of stealing fire from the gods and thus reviving in us the arch archetype of rebellion against restrictions and against the so-called elite. And with this opens the story of Prometheus. We have this archetype again here. However, we can understand this as a period in which God helps the fire to be stolen. So people are given to know a lot 
of what was previously hidden from them or what was belonging to some sort of elite. Modern science that, that does not only work against man, it can work for him as well, and we need to know about that. You know, we don't have to be afraid of that, and we need to learn about that. 